Welcome to another video by me, Joe Onwin, also known as Flow Joe. Today we're going to be looking at the PowerFX value function. Now the value function is a really interesting function because it allows you to take text and convert it to a number. But it allows you to do this with different types of text. So you could have 2024 for example and it will convert it to a number. You can have $9.99 and it will convert it to just the number it will strip away all of the dollars and everything like that but if you don't have a number what happens we'll find out so keep watching and then we'll talk about how countries and locations and all that type of stuff have a massive impact on this so let's get started what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how this actually works first then all you have to do is type value with a capital v open the parentheses and then pass in the text value that you want to convert to a number and then close the parentheses. This will then give you a numbered output. Now, I've got three buttons on here. I've got 2024, and what I'm doing is I'm just doing the value that I said before. So I've got capital V for value, and then I've got 2024 as a string and as a text, and then I'm saving that in a variable so that I can output it so that you can see it on the here where I'm just doing value example. And then I'm doing exactly the same with the $9.99 and exactly the same with Flojo so we can see what actually happens when you don't actually have a number. So let's start with 2024 then. If I click on this, we get 2024 back. Now it doesn't look like much has happened, right? But if I open up this and I open up the variable, you can see that data type is now a number. So I actually have a number and I can put that in a dataverse number column or I can do a number comparison or anything like that. But if I go back to here and I highlight what we originally had, you can see it's a data type of text. So it's actually converted the actual data type that it was to a different data type and give us the output. So what happens then if we've got $9.99? Because this time we've actually got a dollar sign in the text value. If I click on this, it just gives us 9.99 back. And again, originally we had a text type which had a dollar sign in it as well. And this time we've got a number type back and it's actually taken away that dollar value. So it's taken the dollar out, it's converted the data type and given us what we wanted it to give us, which was the 9.99 number value. And again, you could store that in Dataverse or whatever you want to do with it. But what happens then if we don't actually have a number in the value that we're inputting? If we do that, we're going to get an error back because Flojo unfortunately can't be converted to a number because there are no numbers to convert and then you'll get this error. So let's just pass back the 9.99. But if there are text values as in this dollar amount, like the dollar, do, um, the dollar sign there is a character. So if we needed to uh, pass in characters with a number value, it will strip all of those out as long as there are numbers in there for it to work with. But if there are no numbers, it will throw an error. Okay, so that is how easy it is to convert a text value to a number. Now, what happens then if you're working with different countries around the world or you're based in a country that doesn't use the traditional um, comma uh, route that North America does? So in North America, if we was doing 10,000, we would say, one zero comma zero 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 so that would give us ten thousand and if we did ten dot zero 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 that would give us ten because we're doing ten decimal place and then just zeros after it right so we've got a value of ten now what i'm doing here then is i've got a different variable i'm setting just value example country because i've got another output here of just value example country and what i'm doing is i'm doing the value and then I'm doing the actual value that I'm passing in, which is 10.000. And then this time I'm doing a comma and I'm actually putting the language, the country code in. So I'm doing EN, so for English dash US, United States. And what I'm expecting back when I do this then is I'm expecting 10 to come back. But if you're working in Germany, they do their numbers different to how we do it in North America. So the decimal place is pretty much like what we do with our commas. If we do 10 comma 000, we would expect 10,000 back, right? 
So if I come into here and I put a uh, comma here, um, instead of having the 10 dot 000, I've got 10 comma, I'm expecting 10,000 back. But again, if we put the dot here, that changes the meaning of it in uh, North, what North America and the United Kingdom, etc., does um, and handles uh, the actual values of numbers. But in Germany, their decimal place here after 10 would represent 10,000. So it's pretty much like how our commas work, right? So if I press um, this here, because I've got a DE, so that we're using German dash DE, um, we're going to say that this number here should be represented based on this location, this language. So now, when I've got exactly the same as I've got here, so I've got 10.00 in, uh, in the ENUS, I've got 10.000 in the German, I'm actually getting 10,000 back because it's based on how the country and the geographical location and the language actually handles the values. So if you are working with multiple locations um, and you're getting uh, text values come back, you need to be aware that you need to handle those text values based on where those locations are. And you can do that with country codes. And that is how easy it is to convert text-based values to numbers in PowerFX. Thank you for joining me on this video. If you've enjoyed it, hit that like and subscribe button. And if you have any questions at all about this video, throw a comment below and I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as possible.